Xin chào các bạn, mình là Khôi. Cảm ơn các bạn đã ủng hộ kênh Cuộc Sống với Vợ Mỹ. Vợ Mỹ là em nè. Xin chào, em là Kelly. Hôm nay mình sẽ làm một cái video reaction rất là ý nghĩa tên là Việt Nam sẽ chiến thắng um, ca sĩ là Đức Phước. Oh, Đức Phước, we did his um, music video reaction before. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And mm-hmm. also um, June and Ninh Dương Lan Ngọc. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's get, let's see it. Check it out. Is that Duke Phước? Oh yeah, they put in the headphone and the doctor put in. Cool. Everyone's gearing up. Hang Sarah. Duke Phước. He looks really young in this. He does. He's kind of cute. Yeah, I think he's a. I've seen him sing before. <laughs> oh wow! Did they actually go to the hospitals in Vietnam to film this? I think so. Maybe only the videographer. Mm. Oh, talking about how we FaceTime now. It's a lot of um Wow, it's like an ensemble. Yeah. I don't know what they're saying, but it seems very like a beat a very um good, right? I think it's to um, boost people around. Mm. Video này có nhiều ca sĩ hơn mà mình than expected. There's more um, singer than I expected. Oh wow. oh wow, they've got like the real... Wow, they're really into it. What does that say again? Something about your heart. It's her responsibility if she doesn't um, help, who would do it, you know? Cùng nhau. What is that, babe? Together. Oh, together. We should play Cùng nhau. Hai tỷ đồng, two billion dollars. Oh, Sting gave two billion dollars. So the music video um, really talks about the real heroes of our society right now are the um, the, doctors. the doctors and the nurses, yeah. especially and the nurses because the they nurses, have to yeah. do a lot I know. now. And um, peop- I'm sure there's people just volunteering. Yeah. I, I saw a picture actually on online. It was um, several pictures of nurses and doctors that had actually bruises around their face from masks and goggles for working so yeah. many hours straight and um, they just never take them off I think because they're just working non-stop but they also don't want to expose themselves you know and um, I just I mean these people are incredible yeah. I mean they're just and incredible not know? even just nurses and doctors like anyone who's working the hospital yeah. um, right now like even the janitors like if right. you don't have the pe- like the janitors right now like they have to clean the hospital and that's like the most dangerous place right now and they're risking their lives to like you know um make sure that the virus they're they're the one who actually go in in the they're in the hospital killing the virus yeah so that people who are already weak 
in the hospital and getting more sick, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. These people are really risking their lives so that. Sorry. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, go ahead. I need a mask. <laughs> so, what do you think of the music video? I think the music video is really great. I think it's really cool how they use real people. This Doug Fook really always likes to use like real people or like real scenarios, right, yeah, in yeah, his video. Yeah. So I think that's really cool, especially now because you're archiving like a moment in history that's really big, right? Yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's smart because um, even though everyone is in quarantine, they're able to still create something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because like, we think like, oh, now that we can't, um, that we're in quarantine, we can't come together and like film anything. Yeah. So they found a way to do it. Yeah, and it works out because it's not the all together. They just one by one go into the studio and yeah. each record. Yeah. And then they all put it together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Koi. How are you feeling right now about COVID-19? What are your thoughts? Um, to be honest, we've been home for almost two weeks, um, which mean we don't have the virus because yeah. the virus doesn't um, survive more than two weeks. Yeah. So I feel, now I feel like good. Relieved, maybe. Relieved, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good because point. Because before, during the quarantine, you don't know if you have the virus yet. I know, that's yeah. true because it takes like two weeks mm -hmm. to show. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we've been home for two weeks and we're fine, yeah. I hope. I mean, now I don't feel too well, so I don't know. I hope you're um, fine. <laughs> um, but uh, that means we don't have the virus, which mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. I think this is the time where our friends are like, oh, let's hang out because we know that we don't have the virus. I know, yeah, I we know. Should not it's hang tempting, out. but we have to stick to, like, we have to stick to it. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I think for me personally, I agree with you. I didn't think of it like that. Like yeah. now it's been two weeks. And we haven't gotten sick, knock knock. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we should be okay. But I know that our families are calling us every single day. I'm sure your guys' family's doing the same. They're calling us every single day yeah. to make sure that we're staying yeah. at home. <laughs> Even families from like Vietnam and yeah. then Kelly's family from Missouri. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, oh, a lot of people in the comment think that you are uh, Mui Mei. What is that? Which mean? is like Mexican. Oh. Like, are you? I'm not so Mexican. Let's clarify. You're maybe American, we'll, but you know, American maybe, American makes it Maybe you will um, save that for our Q&A video. Oh, that's right. If yeah. you have any, nếu các bạn có câu hỏi gì đặc biệt á, nhớ bình luận ở dưới. Rồi Koi với Kelly sẽ làm một cái video khác biệt để để trả lời mấy cái câu hỏi của các bạn. Another Q&A. Yeah, we'll do that separately. But no, so. you are not người Mỹ. You no. are người Mỹ. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Just to clarify. Yeah. 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 So your family is from Missouri. Mm -hmm. They call us. Um, they call us every day. Your family is calling every day from yeah. Vietnam and from Sacramento. Yeah. And all of them and all of our families are staying inside yeah. too, right? Like they're not going out either. Yeah. Um, so since we've been talking to people in Vietnam, we know that they are still on a lockdown, right? Only... No, they, they were just on the lockdown. Oh, they were just, so now it's over. No, no it just started. Before people we're not going anywhere, but now the government's actually oh, this oh, lockdown. Oh, I see. So now they're they're on they're on lockdown now, and yeah. so that means only like pharmacies and market like supermarkets are open, yeah. right? So kind of the same thing here. Yeah, right? các bạn các bạn bình luận ở dưới um, cho Koi với Kelly biết là bây giờ là bắt đầu lockdown ở Việt Nam rồi các bạn uh, làm việc ở nhà. We want to know what you do during your lockdown. Mm -hmm. For us, we just cook a lot of food. We've been cooking yeah, non-stop. <laughs> before we don't have that much that much time to cook, but mm -hmm. now we have a lot of time, so we like cook a lot. We mm -hmm. do planting, mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff, yeah. um, yard work. Yard um, work. Organize our life. <laughs> yeah, organize our life, or a hard drive, yeah. <laughs> or emails. Yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> a lot of cleaning organization. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, We've been watching some movies. Yeah, We're watching, watching a lot of some movies. Netflix. Yeah. yeah, we try to watch a lot of movies because normally we don't have time. Yeah, and we love to watch movies. Yeah, we love. Yeah, we love movies. Yeah. Um, so, what movies do you like to watch? Yeah. Um, let us know in the comment, and uh, if we haven't seen it, we would definitely check it out. Yeah. Koi, if you could do, like, let's say everything is starting to go back to normal, and you can go anywhere, do anything, what would be, what what would you go do? Maybe we should go back to Vietnam. Maybe we should. I know. 
We were actually going to go to Vietnam yeah. in May. Yeah, we were planning to go in May, but I don't know I don't what think, the situation yeah, is like. I don't know that we'll so be able to go. Hopefully we can still go this summer. Yeah, um, for sure. I do feel like after this, the economy is going to be very slow because people will realize that they need to save more money mm -hmm. um, because this could happen again. I think this will happen again. Yeah. Um, I think it's part of our generation now. Mm -hmm. Like pandemics is gonna happen. Yeah. Like, There's so more many. Often. More Hopefully people. not as often, but it will happen. Yeah. There's so many more people, and global travel is yeah. so much like um, bigger than it was before, yeah. right? And that's how these things spread so fast. Yeah. So um, it's great that we have access that's to. Right to go all over the world, That's right. but um, there's risks involved, right? So yeah. now we just have to prepare for this for next time. I, I agree with you. I think it will happen again, but if we're prepared, then I don't think it will be this serious. I hope it won't be this serious because this is crazy. Yeah. I hope, hopefully after this, everyone will look out for each other. I hope so Kind of like um, if they see something that is not like sanitized mm -hmm. or like, like if you go to or like a restaurant and you know that they're doing it wrong, yeah. Like the food you you see you feel that it's not um, safe or mm -hmm. clean, then maybe people will be more um, would speak out and be like, hey, like I don't agree with that. That's right. So hopefully um, people will be more aware mm -hmm. of like the how to be safer mm -hmm. and you remind with what they eat. You, you're right. Or like when they go outside, they don't they you know like don't like touch like animals yeah you that's know right. like that's something right. like that that's right you reminded me that something else that's still open here and i don't know if it's the same in vietnam or not um restaurants are still open but only for open. takeout here yeah but they okay um nhà hàng á mình có thể đi mua đồ ăn mà mình chỉ có thể mua đem về thôi chứ không được vô trong ăn tại vì nếu mà nhà hàng không mở cửa là nhà hàng có thể uh, sẽ đóng cửa phá sản luôn tại vì không có không có đủ tiền để đóng tiền uh, Tiền mặt bằng á. Mm -hmm. So, restaurant still open. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy. Grocery, pharmacy, tiệm thuốc vẫn còn mở. Um, grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, siêu thị vẫn còn mở để cho dân mua đồ ăn. Um, what else? Um, we don't go out, so I think yeah, that's it. Yeah, we don't go out, so we don't know. <laughs> yeah, I but, think that's it, but I do know that they are starting to change the hours of all of those yeah, places. So, they're like, starting to close earlier. Yeah, close earlier. Um, well, maybe they close early because they know that... Um, they can't afford to pay their employee all day. Oh, that's because they're not making as much is. money, so they that's close probably, earlier. That's probably what it is. Oh, a lot of people are wondering why um, American people um, are not wearing the face mask. Mm. So, can you tell us more what what in your background, like why American people don't um, wear face masks? Yeah. Because for me, in Asian culture, um, we're used to wearing face masks because it's very um, dusty and polluted mm -hmm. outside. And mm -hmm. plus, in Vietnam, when you ride a motorcycle outside. Um, you want to like protect your face because there's like the smog and the yeah. dust so people are used to that but in America I guess so I think that's the key right there I mean when I'm going out I'm wearing a face mask for sure and I think that people should be wearing a face mask and gloves and covering yeah. up um, oh, but our I friend even say that like you should be wearing glasses too because you never know if the virus can like hit your eye and then you can get the virus like that and that's really scary so um, they say to like even like wear glasses like pretty much cover up mm -hmm. Um, but to go back to your question, and I think you kind of answered it too, is just that typically speaking in America, we don't deal, um, it's not as condensed and, you know, like uh, you have cities obviously like New York or whatever that are really condensed, but it's not part of it's the way here, to yeah. like where, to like worry about like dust it's, or, yeah. or, or pollution or, um, you're not riding motorbikes here, you're driving a car. Mm. Oh, um, that's true because look. In your house, you park your car inside your house, mm -hmm. you get into your car, you close the door, you open your garage, you drive out, and you go to your destination, yeah. and then whatever that is. So like, yeah. you don't really need face masks, because yeah. you're not outside. Yeah. I mean, maybe you do, and we've just been doing it wrong this whole time, I don't know, but yeah. like... It's just not part of the culture here. People yeah. just don't wear them, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, It's it's just... It's never been like that, and I think just because... I think it's not as polluted here because... It's not as polluted. The factory are not where people live. Yeah. Like, the factory are, like, so far away. So, like, the air is pretty clean here. The air is pretty clean. So, you don't really need... And plus, one, we live in California, so it's the coast. 
So we have the ocean. Yeah. Um, like that anywhere, like anywhere, yeah. Helps I, here, yeah. I, I never really see it. So. Um, what is like the most polluted city in California? Maybe LA. Yeah, Los Angeles, and I heard like Fresno. Oh, Fresno, really? Yeah, because they have oh, a lot of farming and there's maybe. a lot of dust there. Maybe that's true. That's true. Yeah. But people don't wear masks. <laughs> yeah, people don't yeah. wear masks. Yeah. And they only wear um, masks if they do yard work or something. Yeah. Something that I'm curious about in Vietnam, I, I've heard from our friends that this is the case, but I want to hear. I want to hear from you guys if you guys are in Vietnam. If people are taking the lockdown very seriously, because here in America, that's not really the case. Um, I have some friends in New York, and I was just talking to them the other day. New York, as you guys know, has the biggest outbreak in America, and because they don't take the lockdown seriously, they're not taking the lockdown seriously. Apparently, yeah. so um, that's a real shame. Yeah, there's I, a graph like. Like, San Francisco was on a lockdown a week before New York mm -hmm. because New York still refused to go on a lockdown. And then you see the graph of the case of like how many people got the virus. Yeah. And San Francisco is like here, but then New York goes up like this. Yeah. So San like, Francisco um, went, like it was pretty intense pretty fast. I know that yeah. they were that they were even giving people citations pretty quickly or, or threatening to give citations if people were out and didn't have a reason to be out. Yeah. Um, so the best so, way to fight this virus is actually just to stay home. Yeah. I know um, it's hard. And watch YouTube video. And watch YouTube videos. <laughs> so if you watch YouTube yeah. video, you watch this YouTube video, yeah. thank you. Yeah. And if you uh, watched this far, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you watched this far, please click subscribe yeah. if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you have subscribed, remember to click like because if you click like, it will uh, show this video to more people yeah and that will be um, and hopefully we can get more great. information and like hear more from you guys and we really like to have the conversations so um, we look forward to hearing what you guys have to say so yeah thank you all the singers um, and the producer who made this music mm -hmm. and this music video um, I'm very like they were able to like produce something really fast mm -hmm. yeah like they like this has to be made like recently mm -hmm. like writing the whole song and like getting everyone together and yeah. like producing this so yeah. thank you for that um it's really helping people to have have hope have hope yeah yeah have hope like together yeah can we do it together, together. Oh, together. wait one two three together, together. <laughs> um i think that that's all that we need right now yeah. There's a little bit of hope, right? We will get through this, of course. We will get through this. If you are doctors and nurses or work in the medical field, thank, thank you. you. Um, if you're out there outside working, uh, thank, you. Yeah, thank you. And if you're at home, thank you. Yes. And watch yes. YouTube. <laughs> watch YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Rạc kè mang kè bèng Là ôm hồ vờ Trong em Hai like và đang khi khen cho em nhé. Ngày khai phòng chín tháng, em về đón người anh. Chỉ <cười> về cùng nhau nắm tay về kề. Yeah. <cười> I can say.